Hi guys, it's 4.51 today and I woke up because I'm going to Gahati today. I'm very much excited and I thought to vlog the entire day. I woke up and made myself some clean tea. I did not find Mark so I took it in this vessel. And yeah, I'm just getting ready because uh, our train will be approximately by 7 o'clock. And yeah, I'm ahead of time but I'll take bath and etc. So stay tuned. Okay, the train came by 8 o'clock and now I'm in train. You can see this beautiful view. I don't know, after 6 months approximately, I'm seeing this kind of spectacular views and this views really makes my heart feel alive. I love the green that I got to see on my journey. So it's after 3 hours of the journey that we are crossing the great Brahmaputra river. This is Brahmaputra river and we are crossing by it. And after the crossing I think it will be Kamakya station where we are supposed to land off. And from there our journey will begin for Guwahati. And finally we reach the Kamakya station. The station was quite impressive and it was very maintained and very neat and clean. So it was a good thing. And now we are heading out of the station and you can see there are a lot of uh, autos that are standing because they actually pick the visitor who are required to go in a longer distance but we will be taking walking path because we will have to go to somewhere else so after walk we got to Pandu College because we had to do some work because uh, uh, my brother went there for some of his official work and in this chance I got to see the Pandu College which is located in the heart of Kamakya uh, and then like this is the Pandu College overview I went to the administrative building and started to blog a bit about the college and yeah this college was pretty good and there's a quotation by Abdul Kalam if you guys want you can pause and read it and there's another quotation written by Pranam Mukherjee so if you want to read you can do it and yeah I'm just roaming here and there because I was totally bored by then and he was requiring a lot of time a lot literally a lot of time so after a long wait we finally got to bus and we are going to most probably we are we are going to Guwahati University and I was very excited to see the roads and etc because it was my first time in Guwahati and seeing this kind of chaos and crowd and hustle it was really amazing to see anyway moving ahead you can see that there were lots and lots of traffic going on over here and there and there were literally traffic going on here and there anyway this I guess Jalukbari and this is the Guwahati University because Guwahati University is in Jalukbari so we finally landed from Pandu to Jalukbari and here is the university we are heading inside of it I was very much astonished because it's the first time I visited Guwahati and it's the first time I'm going to Guwahati University so it's a new experience for me to actually be in a Guwahati, be in Guwahati University. Anyway, moving ahead, you see this kind of building. Oh my God, I was so shocked to see buildings after buildings and after buildings. Although I was just walking, 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 and the view was getting good, 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 and it was really getting good. Anyway, it was green, it was shady, it was beautiful, and there were lots of buildings, of course. And I think these uh, buildings belong from different kind of departments that the university provides courses for. And as we move forward, we get to see a lot of students. They are actually coming for there's some kind of I don't know them why I don't know actually anyway but there were so many students and it was good to see so many people <laughs> anyway and this is another place we in the inside the university and uh, yeah this is just a view of the university I was just blogging I thought of taking some random shots because it looks pretty good and yeah you get to see a lot of university what is it inside anyway and this shot was not pretty good it is uh, supposed to be landscape but i took it accidentally in another form anyway just maaf kar do thoda sa fark nahi padta thoda sa ban karke dekhna padega isko but chalo koi baat nahi after the university matlab university under we went to an auditorium because my brother has to collect something from there also and oh my god the auditorium is huge and humongous and it was fully AC air conditioned I mean to say anyway and the lights oh my god it was really really amazing to see all of this together and finally this is a gate of the Guwahati University I thought of shooting it because it looked pretty good and nice I liked it and on that wave as we are approaching there is a canteen and we thought of eating because we did not eat from the morning and we are supposed to be very hungry and we had to eat something and attached to this uh, canteen there is a library and yeah oh. 
Shortly after completion of his work at the university, I went to ICSI house and I took Rapido because it was really confusing for me as a first time visitor to get to ICSI house and finally I managed to do my work and I was supposedly to return from ICSI house so I took a rickshaw and thought to explore the city in the point view of a rickshaw and I was heading towards Apsara Cinema Hall yes this was Apsara Cinema Hall and I was heading towards and thought of taking some shots here and there and in the meanwhile I would like to say one thing how did I reach to ICSI house I took Rapido no doubt but before to Rapido I took bus from Jalukbari and there were lots of beautiful places that I was very much astonished to see during my journey from Jalukbari to uh, what is this place name Bhangagar yeah there are so many nice places but I did not block because it, the bus was very crowded and I was very tensed since I needed since I need to uh, rush towards ICSI ahead of time so I did not I'm sorry for that maybe next time in another block if someday again I happen to enter to Guwahati and which I definitely want by the end of the video I think I'll just share some of my experiences how I find how I found Guwahati and to be very honest I'll be saying a lot of gossips because I really found a lot of feelings for Guwahati city anyway we are in Rapido right now and we are moving ahead 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 and so there is like small small uh, tiny tiny uh, what is Galia yeah so after I went to Apsara cinema hall I met my brother again we were apart from each other and from there we decided that we will be heading towards Iskon temple which is nearby to Apsara which, in, which is probably nearby to Uluvari if I assume so so this is my brother introducing him the man of honor and yeah we are moving towards Iskon Mandir and to be very honest like climbing to the Iskon Mandir was literally f I literally felt that I was climbing to Gavodana Parbat because it was very stiff and I did not I don't have an, a, any experience of climbing mountains so it's <laughs> steep so it's get it's an extra amount of effort to walk in the Mandir but finally we reached So guys, finally after a long walk, we managed to reach to Iskon Mandir and as I as I take the camera ahead and ahead, you will literally appreciate me of taking a decision to go to Iskon Temple because it was spectacular, literally, it was very spectacular, it was marvelous, it was fantastic and it was a big, a best experience and yeah, the decision was very appropriate and correct. As we enter, we get to see a starting of, small starting of a garden and i don't know what's the name of this flower but these flowers look pretty awesome and pretty 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 anyway moving ahead i'll be showing you a beautiful garden that is put together for by scone and this is the uh, not this is not a temple but this is i don't know what it is this is a library or something i have to see anyway and here you can see there are lots of parking area for devotees or those person who are interested to come over here and as we get in we get to see this kind of staircase because after crossing the staircase you are supposed to reach one but we did not take the stag as we thought to explore the garden so we went nearby the garden and yeah there were so many kinds of plants I loved it I love this garden this is a very small garden but it has so many variety species of plants and it was pretty awesome honestly and you can see this kind of uh, building so this kind of building are actually been utilized uh, as per my knowledge because they said I asked to someone and they said that uh, it, is, it has been utilized for teaching purpose of Vedas etc I don't know much but yeah so now we are taking this stairway and we are moving towards the Mandir the Mandir is on top of the uh, mountain this is mountain only right uh, yeah mountain maybe so we move ahead and we see lots of plants growing together flowers are blooming and it was nice it was a bit warm tiring day but it was great no problem we can do it so yeah finally we reached the mandir there it is lord radha madhav and sri radhe so it was all worth it at the end of the day we came we met lord and we met Srila Prabhupada and this is the overview from inside the temple this temple is beautifully constructed. This temple it has a beautiful vibe. All the all temples do have beautiful vibe, but I was tired and I literally loved this place because it was. We took a rest of about two hours 
just by sitting and we did not know or did not acknowledge how time just flew away because we were we don't know i i honestly say i don't i didn't feel anything but i was just feeling very much gratitude that i got to see radha madhav and um, sri radha in front of me and that was all about it it was so beautiful so 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 beautiful so we finally uh, took up uh, we finally arranged a plan for ourselves that uh, we thought that we will attend uh, the sandhya arati that is that will be held by 6 o'clock so we thought to spend the evening over here and this is the spectacular view i was talking about from the uh, iskon temple in guwahati you get to see lots of mountain and small 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 city buildings and it's very kind of cute i like Yep, we are trying to make some video, but I don't know how far we managed to. But ah, uh, this is take two. <laughs> but it did not go well, or it went well. You guys decide. Anyway, we don't know what did we do, but we just tried something, tried out. And this is me trying to vlog, 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 showing my face and smile so that I can. still look effortlessly okay despite the fact i was very tired no problem but the sun was setting slowly by slowly and the view was getting more intensified and beautiful this is the sandharati time so guys i will just crop and show you guys sandharati otherwise the video will get too long and if you guys want i will share the sandharati with you So the Sunday party got over by 7 p.m. and then we decided to have a dinner because for the whole day we did not have a wholesome meal, and then we headed towards dinner. But before that, I would like to show you a beautiful night view of Guwahati city from the top of Iskon Temple, and it was magnificent in its own self. After that, me along with my brother's friend went for dinner, and yeah, that was the time we did call the day off. And this is the night view we were walking. Walking from the dinner place to his home. Hi. Hi, you find a new one, Jack? Ganeshkuri. I'm a bit confused, but we took the bus from Ganeshkuri, and we are heading towards Jalukbari. From there, we'll get the main bus that will actually help me reach home. That is in Kolkata Road, right? And uh, yeah, I just tried to block some of the beautiful scenic view on my way to Jalukbari because previously I did not on the first day. And yeah, it's a very beautiful scenery that I got to see once once again again. And I just pray to God that I happen to come to Guwahati more often because the stay over here was really a memorable. And I don't know. Uh, but this express my gratitude for this beautiful experience and beautiful city i'm just not saying it too much but i'm just saying it because i'm feeling it and yeah i got passed from jalukbari guys and this is a memorial built and i'm a bit sad right now that i'm going back but i'm just hoping that i take all the memories from there and i just cherish it for the coming days because the memories were really beautiful and the people like the friends that we happened to make from yesterday they were also very good very warm they really welcomed us very nicely and i'm just i just felt very blessed during my stay at guwahati for a few hours it's not even one day complete uh, but yeah that was a beautiful journey like i reached guwahati 12 30 or something like that i'm going back uh, approximately it's 11 o'clock and uh, yeah i'm kind of sad <laughs> It's a Brahma Putra river again, and I'm saying bye to Brahma Putra. It's still sad. I don't know how many times I have said it's sad, but yes, one day I will come again, Guwahati. And you were very kind. You were very beautiful, and thank you for the beautiful experience, Guwahati. I love you, and we'll meet again very soon. And yeah, so to wrap up this video, I just want to say. 
thank you, thank you, thank you for everything. I don't know. Uh, but I feel very good. So dear universe, once again, I pray to you, I'll visit this city again. I'll make new friends, new memories, visit new places, explore this city a lot more in a better manner and will go back again with a smiling face. If you like this video, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And yes.